Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Isaiah 58 and the verse 10. And if you spend yourself in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed. In the text of Isaiah 58, Yahweh is clear and consistent regarding the criteria for authentic worship and the conditions for restoration and renewal. Isaiah 58 and the verse 6 and following. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and to untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and to break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked to clothe him and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood? Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will come quickly. In the verse 10 of Isaiah, the text says, If you do away with the yoke of oppression and with the pointing of finger and malicious talk. But here the text goes on to say, And if you spend yourself in the behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then restoration will come. If you spend yourself in behalf of the hungry, is explained by one writer as, We must abound in all acts of charity and beneficence. We must not only give arms according as the necessities of the poor require, but we must give freely and cheerfully and from a principle of charity. We must draw out our soul to the hungry, not only draw out our money and reach forth a hand, but do this from the heart, that is, heartily and without grudging, from a principle of compassion and with a tender affection to such as we see to be in misery. Let the heart go along with the gift, says the writer, for God loves a cheerful giver, and so does the poor man as well. When our Lord Jesus healed and fed the multitude, it was as having compassion on them. The second thing the text says here is to satisfy the needs of the oppressed. Human needs are many and varied. Poverty is just one of them. There are others who are afflicted and they struggle in other ways. Do not only feed the hungry, but gratify the desire of the afflicted. And if it lies in your power, says one writer, make them easy. As we emerge from our devotion and quiet time today, may we be motivated by our Lord Jesus Christ, who moved with compassion, ministered to the poor, the sick, and the oppressed. May our response to the poor and oppressed be from a heart of love and compassion. May it be from our hearts to theirs. Today, we have a golden opportunity to minister heart to heart, one heart at a time. And as we emerge from our time of worship and devotion with the Lord and the intimate moments we have with him. May we go forth in our community, in our homes, in our families, at our workplaces, and may we be God's hand extended as we minister to people from the heart, not just from the pocket or the pocketbook, but from the heart. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-309-7302. If you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well. We invite you and your family and friends and all those in your social network 
to join us for our Easter convention. This is the 50th staging of our Easter convention on April 15, 16, and 17. It's going to be an amazing time of worship and fellowship and the word from our international overseer, national overseer, regional overseer, Reverend Marjorie Brown and Samis Latoya Hall Downer and many, many more. It's going to be a real time of outpouring and you don't want to miss it. We also want to remind you that my recent book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership, uh, is now out. You may order yours on Amazon, whether you choose to order the Kindle version or you need your own hard copy. Feel free to go to Amazon.ca or .com, depending on where you are, and make your purchase. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.